right, well, I'll call the uh, Board of Adjustment meeting for October the 10th to order the roll call. Baker? Here. Carlson? Here. Parker? Russo? Here. Swigard? Here. Okay. Uh, first order of business is a special exception item EXC 24-0001, a request submitted by Adel Adelaide Subtol and Thomas Heinemann to extend the six-month expiration time limitation for an application to reduce the minimum on-site parking retirements in the Central Business Service Zone ZB2 to accommodate the reuse of the vacant building at 215 North Lynn Street. Staff. As the Chair mentioned, this is a special exception extension request for application EXC 24-0001. The request was submitted by Adelaide Septo and Thomas Heinemann to extend the six-month expiration time limitation. Um, this application was originally approved in March of 2024. As you may remember, this application was approved to allow a parking reduction from 14 spaces down to zero uh, to accommodate a vacant building to be reused for ground floor retail and upper floor eating establishment. And since that time, there have been some structural complexities and concern that have delayed the project and the applicant has worked with their architect and structural engineers to work through some of these concerns. And we did not receive a building permit up until earlier, um, October 2024. However, that permit cannot be issued until we have um, either received an extension on the application or a new application is submitted and approved by the board. Um, the board's duty is for extension request, uh, the application expires after six months if the applicant has not taken action to establish the use or obtain a building permit, which they have not yet, and they, at this point they cannot, and thus granted this extension. And upon written request and for good cause shown, the board may extend the expiration date of any order without further public hearing on the merits of the original appeal or application. And that is what we are here to discuss tonight. I now turn it over to the board. Okay, questions for the staff? So if we grant an extension, how long will this extension be for? Up to you. We can decide. Yes. And in granting an extension, it is just for uh, starting construction? Yeah, they would have to, um, the extension will last as long as you determine, and within that time frame, they will need to get their building permit issued or we'll be back here again. That permit's in review right now, so that would likely not be of any concern. So the only thing is they have to have a building permit? Uh, yes. With the, thing, with the city saying that right. they're Yes. Our extension doesn't have to last through the length of the project, right? They just, no. just, just to give them the permit. Yes. I see. And the permit would be issued in the next couple months, maybe? It would probably be issued in the next week or two. Oh, okay. Any questions for staff? Open up the public hearing now. Did the applicant has any? Sure. Um, so Thomas Heinemann, we met in March or February. Uh, so we are still full steam ahead. It's taken. I would say longer than expected with uh, some of the nuances of, of working with an 1870s building, uh, kind of bringing it up to code, um, mainly as it pertains to the back wall, which is kind of on the alley, which had some kind of previously unforeseen structural issues. So we do have to replace the entire back exterior wall. Oh. Um, so that um, has been worked through with Raker Roads, our structural engineering company, as well as with OPN. So we think we have a plan for that, and the city's on board with that as well. And then also supporting the floor, the second floor, to, to for the change in use, and we've worked through that as well. So, the city, from what we have spoken with, and from the building permit side, is happy with it. Our architects are happy with it. The structural engineers are happy with it. So, um, again, we basically have it in submission, pending this review, and uh, yeah, hoping to start. But the scope, from what we had spoken about earlier, has not changed. We still have exactly the same intent. So in other words, between the time we passed the first special exception and now you have been working, yeah. you have been trying to move forward. It's Unfortunately, just it has taken six months to uh, arrive at the point of uh, everyone kind of being able to, from a budgetary standpoint, from a complexity standpoint, but I think we're finally there. 
you think there are any more big surprises? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Do you hope not? <laughs> Any other questions? Anybody here who would like to speak in opposition to the request? If not, I'll close the public hearing and um, entertain a motion to approve or We need to decide how long to, or do we need to decide before I think we in, the, in the motion, we should probably indicate the time. I move that uh, we accept EXC 240001, a request submitted by Adlai Subtil and Thomas Hyman to extend the six month expiration time limit for an application to reduce the minimum on-site parking requirements in a central business service zone to accommodate the reuse of the va vacant building at 215 North Lynn. I would like to extend it for six months. I don't think they will need it. Okay, for an but additional six months. For yeah. additional that six months. But that way, I mean, that's what it was supposed to be. You, you are now at the starting line, which is where you should hoped you were in March. So I I don't think you will need six months, but Thank you. it's not I don't like you, but you know, we don't need to keep coming together. And I'll second that. Okay, moved and seconded. Discussion? We just accept the previous findings of fact, right? Okay. I just need a voice, or a voice vote on the motion. You can take a roll call vote, but it doesn't matter. Baker? Yes. Carlson? Yes. Parker? Russo? Yes. Swigert? Yes. Motion passes, and I think that's it. Have any other business? No, nope, nothing to report. Um, the deadline for a November meeting is tomorrow. No expectations for an application to come in, so we likely won't be meeting in November either. Unless you need to set something up to go over any material. I've said it before and I'll say it again. As soon as I got appointed chair of this commission, <laughs> it stopped meeting. Hey, since I got here, it stopped moving too. So. <laughs> Council did approve the bylaw amendment. If anybody wants a hard copy and wants to stick around, I can provide that to them. Or Parker can email them, but if anybody wants a hard copy before they left, they can certainly go down and make a copy of that. Okay. Move, to, move to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Second. All right. Thank you for meeting for such a <laughs> small order of business, but good luck. Maybe it's adjourned. Thank you. Good luck.